Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Gen channel, where I am still on the sunken ship. Uh, we're just exploring it floor by floor. Um, I'm going to use one of the corrosion to melt this, this room over here. Because I just want to make sure I explore every inch and get all that we can. Tons of remote bombs, though. Captain... Ah, there we go. We got the locker key. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Alright, so let's go... Back up. Which was the back corner. I think we can go up. Yes, we can. Awesome. Oh yeah, because it was locked from the other side, wasn't it? That's right. Back up through this way. Here we are. Uh, and then there was the captain's... What was the captain's... Oh, hello. Is this where it was before? No, it wasn't. Oh, no. That's, um... Where the fuck was a Captain's cabin. Fourth floor. God damn it. Alright. That's right, I remember now. Let's open this up with lockpick. Antique coin. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. That's right, it was up. Went up. Okay. Almost there. Come on. So yeah. So like I said, I'll be. I'll just take it floor by floor. Oh, hello. God, fucking, fuck you, fuck you. Come on. Stop, stop running away. Come on. Okay, uh... Captain's cabin. Open that up. And close that door. Machine gun! Uh oh. There's one right behind you, isn't there? Yes, there is. Hi! She's pretty good with a knife. Alright. So we'll go down. We'll go down this time. Hi there. Fuck it. Son of a bitch. Okay. What have we got? It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. What was that all in my head? I woke up at 19.30, there was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said that he, there was something going on down below. Maybe you're right. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. 
I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me, huge shark-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni. Giov... Giov... Giovanni... Oh my god, why am I stumbling? Giovanni Finetti. Why did I stumble so bad with that? Okay, first aid. Awesome. Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here, day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is one thing that's different, this time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're destined relatives of the captain. Imagine travelling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship, they must be hard up. I tried looking to the little girl earlier and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now yeah, I better think about it, the captain said he didn't have, even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love Jim. Maybe you are. All right, laundry room. Fuck it. I know there's gonna be more of these things. Like him. I guess I need a fuse. Okay, so we need a fuse for some reason. Bullets. Close that. Oh, we can carry a whole lot more items now. Awesome. That's what I'd like to see. Some herbs. Some remote bombs. Awesome. Okay. So how much... Oh, we've got tons of room. Okay, so it's not in the laundry room, so we'll go check in the stock room. Fuck me, you're quick. Uh, where did you go? I'm just gonna assume I killed you. Yeah, let's just go with that, shall we? Oh man, alright, this is very survivally scavenging for everything. It's a knife, gunpowder. See, it's giving me gunpowder, but I don't have any fucking... I don't have a handgun. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I got it. Alright, so we'll go to the maintenance room. And then I'll grab the fuse. Oh, hello. Handgun! Okay. Okay. So, I need to go and grab the fuse. From here. Grab that fuse, which locks that door. But now I can go into the laundry room. Put the fuse in, which will do. Something. Maybe nothing. 
Maybe I should just keep the fuse. Maybe it'd be useful. Um, okay. So... The other thing as well is there was the third floor and we can go into the shower. So we'll do that. So I need to go into the elevator which is on the other side. Because remember there's the passage which I unlocked with the corrosive. So we'll go back and do that. And then we'll work our way back down one more floor. I should probably heal myself, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, which was... This way? Let's go back up. No, that won't work, will it? No, that won't work at all. Oh, but the statue is there. There we go. Mustn't forget about the statue. Um, so that was that would be this one here, and then I can go up on. Sorry, I know it's slow, but it's systematic. It's so I can, it's so I know that I've done everything, and I can check everything and get everything that I need. Because this is, I have a feeling this is a thing where you need to get everything and make sure you get everything. Because it's all going to be useful. So it's through here. We didn't go through. Because my main goal at the moment is to repair the elevator and get to the bottom floor. Oh. Uh oh. Something bad going to happen. Oh, this has got bad news written all over it. Someone's going to come through that door, the toilet door. Okay, alright. Oh, okay, that's still locked for some reason, alright. Guess it must be stuck. Okay, so we've got supplies galore, corrosive, plus, oh shit, we got a big ass motherfucker. And we're good. Okay. Alright, what have we got here? Okay. Okay, we have a power cable. So we would have had to come here anyway. So it's a good thing I did. Okay, alright, alright, okay. Um, so that's this floor. So now we can go down to the first floor. And then we need to figure out what the fuck else we're supposed to do. Uh, and I'm going to save it, because it's been a while. Just in case. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to do this. Oh, I mean, I'm sure you can do it in four hours. Because there's an achievement to do it in four hours. I assume if you just chuck it on easy and just breeze through it, you'll be able to... Um, go through it all. So we want to go down to the first floor. we've already done the fourth floor, haven't we? Oh yeah, that's right, I could can't get through there. So we'll go down to the first.
and, we're, and then we want to go... Can I go down to the first? No, I can't. It's locked. Fuck. That's right. So I want to go down to the second and cool down the elevator and go down the staircase, which goes down to the basement. Oh, it's so complex. There's so many things. Crouch down. I'm going to go down. Walk around, okay. It's, it's different though, it's nice, it's a nice different pace to the rest of the game. You gotta be slow and methodical. Well shit. Alright, well... Well, that's it, isn't it? And that's all we can do. We just gotta figure out how the fuck to get the uh, elevator working again. Which I'm assuming is maybe the maintenance room? That's how we get back up. Maybe not. <sighs> Alright, how do we repair the elevator? We're just checking, because we can't go down further, can we? No. Hmm. Might just have to look this up because this is going to take a while, I think. Okay, hang on. This be a little bit on the south and south reference to the wall. Okay. Oh, in the oh, I remember now. There's the actually in the elevator. There's a thing down the bottom. Oh, of course, fucking hell. I saw it, I took note of it during the recording of the fucking the video when we went back in time. <sighs> Down here. So we want the fuse, and we want the power cable. And then we're all good. So then we want to go to S2. And we're going to make some shit. So let's make one, two. There we go, okay. S2, alright. He's waiting. Thank you. Fucking creepy. I'm half expecting there to be just a shitload of monsters now. Which there is. 
one. You? Oh, you're a different one. You're a different one. Oh no, you just didn't die. Okay. Let's fucking do this. Through here. Bomb, bomb. Uh, ammo. Ammo. In here. Ammo. Okay, awesome. Alright. Got a shitload of ammo now. Got a shitload of bombs. Fuck it. Use the fucking bombs. <sighs> oh, you're a big fucker. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay, good thing I saved all those bombs. <laughs> Alright. Enough of this. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Use it. Come on. Unlock. Give me some more bombs. Oh, a coin. Even better. Cargo bay. All right. Let's do this. Come here, you bitch. Die. Ethan. Okay. Ethan. Ethan. Oh, uh, what? Hey, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her here yeah, busting out a tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just, uh, she forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight that. You are connected to her and you can't resist the urge to. Oh, you're, you're a different person after that, just like Leah. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, uh, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her, you stop her. Ethan. Free my family. Oh, Jack. Please. I feel bad now. Alrighty. Evelyn, stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. 
Don't you dare. Or what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? Okay, so I'm in the black goo. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I have to, don't I? God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? Oh, you're going down, bitch. I mean, I have no weapons, so I'm assuming I don't need weapons. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of dead fish. Oh, no, we're not done yet. I thought we were. Like this, don't like this at all. Oh, well, and good that we can carry more items, but I can't really do anything with them. Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dolby. Okay, are they watching us from that helicopter? Oh. This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports. He's in the abandoned mine south of the property. Uh -oh. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Alright, so we have Umbrella on our case. Ships want lab. Ah, there's a lab. Son of a bitch, there's a lab. There's always a bloody lab. 
All right. Well, on that. Oh, I've taken me his things. On that bombshell, we will leave it there. Almost finished Resident Evil 7. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to see some more game gym material and some more Resident Evil 7, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Gym, signing out.